Now these examples are for indefinite integrals. So remember, indefinite integrals are integrals without limits and whenever we integrate an indefinite integral we'll have the integral function but we need to add a constant c. So remember c is what we call the integration constant. So here's example 2 part a. Let's integrate x squared with respect to x. So back to the paper and pen. So here is example 2a integration so we need to integrate x squared with respect to x. So remember this is an indefinite integral as this integral does not have limits and whenever we calculate an indefinite integral we're going to have the integral function so the integral function means the function that we get after the integration process but we must add a constant of integration c. So let's have a go at this one. So let's integrate x squared. Remember the process of integration. Add 1 to the power. So the power is 2. When I add 1 to the power, 2 plus 1 is 3. Divide by that result, 3. But we need to add a constant of integration c. So this should be the solution to part a. So let's go back to the screenshot. So we have another example, a part b. Part b, another indefinite integral, we need to integrate 3 plus x squared multiplied by root x with respect to x. So back to the paper and pen. So here is the example. So first, before we integrate, let's expand brackets. So in this case, let's expand the bracket. Root x, remember, is the same as x to the half. So 3 times x to the half is 3x to the half plus x squared times x to the half. So remember in indices, when you multiply two terms having the same base, you need to add the powers. So you're going to have x to the power 2 plus half is 5 over 2. So we've expanded the bracket, now we're ready to integrate. So when I integrate 3x to the half, so add 1 to the power, half plus 1 is 3 over 2. Divide by that result, 3 over 2. Plus, when I integrate x to the power 5 over 2, add 1 to the power, 5 over 2 plus 1 is 7 over 2. Divide by 7 over 2 and you must add a constant of integration. So I'm going to tidy this up. So 3 over 3 over 2 is 2. So I'll have 2x to the power 3 over 2 plus 1 divided by 7 over 2 is 2 over 7. So it's 2 over 7 x to the power 7 over 2 plus c. And I'm going to rewrite this as 2 x to the power 3 over 2 is the same as the square root of x cubed plus the 2 over the 7. x to the power 7 over 2 that's the same as the square root of x to the power 7 plus the c at the end. So this should be the solution to part b. So I have another example, back to the screenshot. So we, have, we need to integrate in part c 2 root x plus 1 squared divided by 3 root x. So let's see how this is done. So back to the paper and pen. So here is part c. Now before we integrate, I'm going to do a side calculation and I'm going to simplify this fraction. Now. The first step is to expand the numerator. So let me expand out 2 root x plus 1 squared. That is the same as a 2 root x plus 1 multiplied by another 2 root x plus 1. So when I multiply out 2 root x times 2 root x is 4x. 2 root x times 1 is 2 root x or 2x to the power half. 1 times 2 root x is 2 root x or 2x to the half. 1 times 1 is 1. 
So if I add the like terms, I'm going to have 4x, 2x to the half plus another 2x to the half is 4x to the power half plus the 1 at the end. So this is what it should have when you expand the numerator. Now let's concentrate on this fraction. So for the fraction, I've got 2 root x plus 1 squared over the 3 root x. So remember the idea from here on, we need to divide each of these terms on the top of your fraction by the term in the denominator, which is 3 root x or 3x to the half. So we need to divide each of these. So let's start. So let's divide 4x by 3x to the half. Let's also divide 4x to the power half by 3x to the power half and also dividing the 1 at the end by 3x to the half as well. So let's simplify each term separately. So I can't simplify the 4 over 3, so leave that as is. However, in indices, remember, when you divide two terms having the same base, we subtract the powers. So x to the power a divided by x to the power b is x to the power a minus b. So let's use that rule over here for the first term. So x to the power 1 divided by x to the power half is x to the power 1 minus half, which is x to the half. Plus, so plus, I can't simplify 4 over 3 further, so let me leave that as is. However, I can cancel the 2x to the halves, plus I can't simplify the 1 over 3, let me leave that untouched. And remember another uh, result in indices, 1 over x to the n is the same as x to the minus n. So with this in mind, 1 over x to the half is the same as x to the minus half. So this is the simplified expression for the integrand. So let's integrate this instead. So let me rewrite my integral as 4 over 3 x to the power half plus the 4 over 3 plus the 1 over 3 x to the power minus half. So let's integrate that with respect to x. So for the first term so leaving the 4 over 3 as is, when I integrate x to the half, remember, add 1 to the power. Half plus 1 is 3 over 2. Divide by that result, 3 over 2. When I integrate a constant, it's going to be the constant with x. Let's integrate the final term. So when I integrate 1 over 3 x to the minus half, let me keep the 1 over 3 as is, so that when I integrate x to the minus half, add 1 to the power, minus half plus 1 is plus half, divide by that result, plus half, and don't forget to add that constant of integration. So what needs to be done is, we need to tidy this up. So 4 over 3 divided by 3 over 2 is 8 over 9. So it's 8 over 9, x to the power 3 over 2, plus the 4 over 3, x, plus 1 over 3 divided by half is 2 over 3, x to the power half, plus the c at the end. And I'm going to rewrite this as, so I'm going to have 8 over 9, x to the power 3 over 2 is the same as the square root of x cubed plus 4 over 3x, plus the 2 over 3, x to the half is the same as root x, plus c at the end. So this should be the final solution to part c. So that completes that example and that also sadly ends the video. So I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you found the video helpful. If you did enjoy the video, a like will be very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice related problems and I hope to see you again. Thank you.